Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Sigmoth back again with Naveen. Today, what I, of course, what I want to talk about is Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, they just announced at the PlayStation 4 press conference that DLC will be arriving early to PlayStation 4 for Call of Duty Black Ops 3. However, I do not think it will be a month earlier, and certain things on the Call of Duty website lead me to believe that. Now, of course, in previous Call of Duties like Advanced Warfare, uh, the DLC comes out a month early for Xbox, and then a month later uh, after that DLC is released on uh, PlayStation 4 and PC. Um, it appears this year that PlayStation 4 will be getting the DLC early, however, I do not think it will be a month early, and um, the reason I believe that is not unwarranted. Uh, but like I said on the Call of Duty website, you should be able to see on your screen right now uh, a Q&A, and it says right here, what about DLC map packs for Call of Duty uh, Black Ops 3? Um, and the response is, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 DLC map packs will debut first on PlayStation flat platforms to be followed by other platforms at a later date. Actual DLC map pack dates and details have not been released yet. So here's my thing. Ever since, what what is it, World at War, I believe it is, they've been doing DLC a month early for each console. Not not early, not three weeks early, a month early. They've literally always done it a month early since Call of Duty ever, multiplayer ever was a thing. Maybe since Call of Duty 4, I don't even know. It's always been a month, one month, 30 days. That's how long it's going to be until you get your DLC. It's been that forever since Call of Duty 4. Why would they specify it? Why would they specifically go out of their way to mention in an entirely new sentence after announcing that PlayStation 4 would get DLC early, blah, blah, blah. Actual DLC map pack dates and details have not been released. Why would they go out of their way to say that? And then it says here, how long will DLC map packs for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 be exclusive on PlayStation? Specifically addresses the exact issue I'm talking about. Actual DLC map pack dates and details for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 have not been released. I do not think it's going to be a month. I just do not think that. Otherwise, they would have just said it's going to come early, and they wouldn't have gone out of their way to mention that r details on release dates for the DLC have not been released. They wouldn't have gone out of their way to mention that. It was like, yeah, of course it's a month, because it's implied. We have we as Call of Duty fans know it's, that's the way it's always been. So they wouldn't go out of their way to mention that DLC is going to be a uh, the the dates in between the DLCs is not yet released. To me, it's abundantly clear that it's not going to be a month. It's going to be a different time, and my guess would be less than a month. They've been they've punished consoles for being the one other than they have a multi-million dollar contract with, whether it's been um, PlayStation historically, and this year it'll be Xbox. I think they're going to try to drift away from, from that slightly. I think we're going to see that it's going to be less than a month, so um, we're going to find out shortly, but that that is why i believe that it's going to be less than a month in between dlcs um and uh, ultimately uh xbox they're not going to receive the brute of um x uh, dlc exclusivity to the same degree that playstation has for many years and that's my personal belief based off the evidence we have here um i just don't understand why they wouldn't spe specify a month yeah that's what it's always been a month since call of duty 4 they specifically go out of the way to say uh, it's not yet been released that info's to be coming and i think that uh, we're gonna have some good news for both consoles hope you all enjoyed if you did you can of course the like button my name is Sukmov, and we'll see you later